This is the Conqueror, a vehicle that is literally just a gun mounted on a cardboard box. And wow, is it a good gun. In the latest update of 10.4, this vehicle got a DPM buff. It went from about 2600 to 2800. That means if you're running Rammer, it's 3000 effective. Now, personally, I don't recommend to run Gun Rammer on a vehicle that gets 190 millimeters of Heshpen running calibrated shells. And for the people that are like, ooh, but the DPM, well, the vehicle just got a DPM buff. So, do you need more DPM, or do you want more pen? I just feel like it's a lot more satisfying to absolutely delete somebody with high explosive squash head ammunition. Now, the Conqueror still features a lot of downsides. While this tank did just get mega buffed, um, it has no armor. And that's a pretty big problem, because we're in a game that is based off of armor. And it's not a medium tank, it's not a light tank, it's a heavy. So you do need armor to actually get the job done, and that's something you're not going to be having this tank. So that is a big downside. But on the other hand, with the gun, you have very good penetration. 340 on the premium is enough to cut through really any tier 10 you'll be fighting and as you can see its accuracy is also absolutely amazing which is just another uh, amazing thing going for the tank i'm not sure why that 50b backed in the cover to be completely real got the standard b off to the side and i'm gonna load an ap right into his turret heck yeah all right now you'll also notice this tank features reactive armor which means if we do get rushed by that 50b at any point we can plop that on and hopefully uh, save ourselves some HP. Uh, I wonder if we can hit that. No, doesn't look like we can. Crazy job, bro. Crazy job from our T92. Oh, well, there you go. Nice shell into the 50B. The conk has okay gun depression. You know, I wonder. I wonder if the 183 is over there. Yeah, that's actually very possible. Now that I'm thinking about where the 92 one died. Eh, maybe not, though. I don't see a shell mark on that. No, it's not. Okay, good. I was really worried for a second that the uh, 183 was on our side, and that could have been a really, really susler situation. But, with him not being, it's a lot better for us. Okay. We do have uh, two tier 10 heavies here. I just need to know where the 50B went. Alright, let's get a shell into the VK. There you go. And if the 183 tries to shoot me, I'm not too worried. Really? That bounce? That's kind of cringe. Alright, let's aim it on the VK's lower plate. This one will not bounce. There you go. Nice shot for 340 into his engine. And let's see if we can get him again in the engine. And bonk. There you go. Nice 375. I mean, the gun on this tank is just absolutely amazing, as you can see. You just bonk tier 10s with no effort whatsoever. There you go, another nice 380 roll. We are already up to 2,700 damage in this game, which is uh, kind of nutty. And then we just load a Hesh on the 183 and apparently bounce it for some reason. That didn't make much sense, but all right. Um, let's see. Oh, that works. Hmm... I'm just going to wait here, and I'm going to let my Kron get to the side of the 183. And uh, I'm just going to keep chilling right here. What are you going to do, Stinker? You're going to die! My game lagged there for a second. I thought the shell missed, but nope, we're all good. All right, well, there you have it. This is a... Uh, oh, we're lagging still. Okay. Don't want to lag. Oh, we're still lagging. Can we Can we not? Please, Wi-Fi. I would appreciate if you... Oh, I'm out of gold rounds. That's why we can't pen him. I was like, wait a sec, why is his lower plate all red? Yeah, uh, oh, we're a little laggy, but, um... Bro. 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 You guys can see this. That's why I always have arrow indicators, because it lets me know if I'm lagging or not. And we definitely were right there. Um, yeah, I'm gonna be real. This is not a win yet. This is, in fact... In the fact, looking like a loss, because that XM is still very, very healthy, and the grill is not. Now, I know the BZ might be kind of low, so it's really up to us at this point. Okay, let's see. There's the XM. Yeah, there you go. That was an important shot. Again, accuracy on this tank is insane. And when you're able to get it to work, it works very, very well. Okay, where is the BZ? Oh... It's not a BZ, it's a TNH. Okay. 
let's aim it on his tank. There you go. Nice 384. Got the XM on my side, so I'm just going to back up like this. There you go. Hmm. The TNH is the big threat right now. Right. Nice. Okay. Let's see. Nice. Bye. <laughs> oh, gets on my level, stinky. Oh, yeah. All right. Now we just got a HE. Oh, I was going to say HE the roof of that guy. Oh, wow. That was a good shot from the grill. I'll give him credit. All right. Well, there you have it. We won. And I think that was a great showcase just in that first game of the Conqueror's capabilities. The DPM is amazing. The gun is actually insane. A lot of tier 10 heavies would die to have this gun. And this is a tier 9 heavy. It's It's got everything you'd want, as you saw. I mean, we made quick work of literally everybody in front of us, and there wasn't even much of a sweat. Now, to be fair, that XM misplayed big time. I don't know why he didn't try to get Hull down and uh, deal with the grill. I don't really know. Dude just kind of sat in the open and let me bonk him. Even if that grill on our team had died to the XM, I still probably could have killed him and then finished off the TNH just because of the fact we have so much HP and reactive armor. Um, but hey, let's do another game and see how the conk can do again. Alrighty, second battle and once again up against tier 10s. I don't mind going up against tier 10s in my tier 9s, but it is kind of annoying. I... I Oh, I just realized we have a Lorraine 50T, so that's a tester. The Lorraine 50T is... looks alright. The hull is like 150 at fully angled, but the turret is that of an AMX M454. So the best way to think of the vehicle is uh, a super duper strong turret and an incredibly trash hull. I think it'll be a cool tank, but we'll have to see. Little worried about this crossing, but... Alright, we made it. Woof! That crossing is really sussler. Alrighty. Let's see what we can do. I'm actually glad I didn't go to mid, because the tanks they have there are incredibly cringe. Alright. Well, we made the crossing, which is really important, actually. Now we can sit here and cap the base. Yeah, what are you going to do to me, 113? This is what you can do in comp as well. If you make it to the other side of the base, you can cap it without ever being shot. It's actually really nasty. All right, we got the grill in the back. 0.303 dispersion. Unfortunately, doesn't matter when your shell does that. Okay, well, we got the 183 over here. And bunk. There you go. Penetration. I'll take it. Would not be surprised if that 183... Mm. Problem isn't the one eight. Well, the problem is the one eight three, because I'm really worried if I poke there, the one eight three is going to be in the bush, and we're not going to be able to spot him. And then I'm going to get nuke. There you go. Nice shot into the WZ. We did get spotted, but I mean, you can see the accuracy on this vehicle. It is insanely good. It's it's just so nice to have a gun this accurate. All right. Well, for now, we just need to wait. I mean, we're up on base cap. And, I mean, what else do we need to do? Technically, base A is the only thing that we have to worry about. And, not anymore! We get a Hess shell right into the WZ, and uh, base A is no longer a problem. Let's see, we got the Conqueror off to the side. What are you going to do, Stinky? You're going to get bonked is what you're going to do. Then we're just going to back on up. Oh, yeah. All right, not a bad result so far. Just gonna chill here. I mean, we're up to 800 now on base cap. What are you guys gonna do? You just gonna let us win? Fully up to you. Oh, we get a bounce from the Kron. There you go. Another nice pen into his vehicle. I'm just chilling. Yeah. Uh, now you guys decide the push. Once it's too late. Congratulations. Whoa. We just put on our reactive. Let me chill here. We can bonk the IS-4. There you go. 940. And hmm, one shot on this 113. And it's all over. Yep. And we broke 3k with that shot. I mean, I don't know what their team was doing. They had to push for A. That was the only way they could have won. And they didn't. They just let us keep getting A. So, uh, there you go. 3064 damage and a very easy victory. The Conqueror is amazing. Because... 
As long as you're not getting rushed, you're literally a tier 10. The gun you have is better than a lot of tier 10s, and it has no downsides. I mean, you can look at every stat of the gun. It's got pen, it's got DPM, it's got accuracy, it's got everything that a tier 10 gun wants, and it's on a tier 9. And while the vehicle doesn't have a lot of armor, it still has mobility, it still has a decent chunk of HP. So, in terms of effectiveness, I would literally say that this is just as effective as a 215B, but a tier lower. And because the turret's actually front-mounted, in a lot of situations, this tank feels better. The Conqueror is kind of nutty now, I'm not gonna lie. I'll see you all in the next one. Bye-bye.